Today I received an email from OpenAI to try out their new API. And yeah, I sent an email request a couple months ago and just said, yeah, I'd like to try it out. Um, and I got the email. So this video is exploring some of their API and just seeing if we can use OpenAI's service. So let's go ahead and go up here and click on API. Okay, so you can see here, if, if you're interested, you can go to beta.openai.com and click on join the waitlist. And I'm just gonna go straight up here to login. And you can see I've already logged in and they've got examples, playground, developer quick start. So I think for this tutorial, we'll just go straight to the documentation. And you can see right here, they've got the developer quick start. So I've got this API key here and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and reveal it and then I'm gonna change it afterwards so it doesn't really matter. So copy paste that. Here's the curl requests, uh, Python bindings, and then down here you've got the JavaScript node uh, wrapper, wrapper API. So I'm gonna use this top one and yeah, let's get started. So move that over and open up the terminal. So let's see, what do we got here? So the first thing I wanna do is create a new directory, call it OpenAI. And this is gonna be a node project, so let's go ahead and init that. Looks good. And then you can see here we need to npm install openai so let's go ahead and okay so we'll go ahead and run that and then i'm going to use uh env to store my environment variables so let's do uh env node what's the package here we go npm install env okay so let's go back Okay, so now that we've got everything running, I'm gonna go ahead and make an index.js file and let's also do .env. And let's see, how do they do this? So they have to require. Okay, so if we open up the index, we can go ahead and paste that in there and We can go ahead and open up the .env and just say OpenAI API key and then let's go ahead and assign that. There you are. Okay. And Now we should have access to that API key. So let's go ahead. Um, let's see. Actually, since there's a couple different services, let's, um, I'm gonna get rid of this index file and let's call this first one completion. Okay, and so to initialize it, we just go like this. And let's see here. And put that up here. Cool, so now I can put the completion code down here. And let's, hold on. Okay, so let's see if that completion's working. Completion.js. Oops. There we go. Sweet. So the query ran. We got a response back. Awesome. 
So what does this completion API call do right here? Oh, I see. Yeah, it, it completes the sentence. So prompt, this is a test. Um, and then it says the result. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, let's see. Completion. And maybe we'll just do like, um, I don't know. What should we do here? to be or not to be. Let's see what that does. Huh? Text, oh, okay. It says, really? That was the predicted text? Okay, well, let's try a different one here. Let's see. So uh, search API call. So let's do uh, search.js is what we'll call it. And actually, yeah, so let's paste this code in. Um, and then I'm actually going to go back to the completion, just kind of grab the same stuff here. And we'll put it up here. Oh, that's not right. What? I don't think I grabbed it. We want all of this. There we go. Uh, let's see, search. There we go. That's what we want. So uh, let's see. Let's run this. Let's just run this and see what it does. Okay, so it's given us back scores, right? Based off of each each item in the array. So item zero, one, and two. And yeah, that makes sense because we've got White House and then the president. So it's saying out of these three options, what does this query relate to? I guess. Um, so like, let's do this. Let's do uh, singing. Oh, wait, no, that would be down here. And then we'll say shower. Uh, let's see. Just do elevator and library okay so it's saying out of the three that the first one so that was the shower cool so it knows it's smart enough to know hey like singing okay let's try another one um oh i know let's see working at google and let's put in stanford uh mit and harvard we'll do harvard let's see um Hey, so if you want to go work at Google, go to Stanford. That's where you're most likely. Well, I don't even know if that's causation or correlation there. It's probably more correlation. But yeah, most software engineers, I guess. What did I say? Work at Google. Let's see. Working at Google. Let's do as a software engineer. It's probably the same. Oops. Yep, same, still Stanford. So yeah, this is really cool actually. I think it's a pretty intuitive uh, API to use and that's impressive. Like 
very, very smart, very intelligent. Um, powered by GPT-3, cool stuff. So, okay, that's all I've got. If you liked this video, uh, give a thumbs up and a subscribe. Uh, that'll help my channel out a little bit. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.